Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I thought we'd have a little bit of fun. We're going to get Glamiro and Alvero basically like a little versus match and get them to go through mission 28 and see who comes out on top. Uh, judging by their HP, how they get on through going through the mission because everybody says that Glamiro is Alvero's replacement. So I think Alvero wants to fight back a little bit. So in the red corner we have the challenger Alvero. Now, basically, he's been like Rocky Balboa. He's been up in the mountains, chopping logs, running through snow, lifting anything heavy. He's been training his nuts off, as you can see here. Absolutely trained to the... Well, not to the teeth. He can obviously go higher, but he's put in a lot of work. He's really, really worked hard for this. And in the blue corner, we have Gumelo. Now... He's been more like the Conor McGregor of it, really. Just out partying, getting chucked out of nightclubs, getting into fights, done no training whatsoever. He's probably going to go into this hungover. So we're going to go into Mission 28 first with um, Alvero. And then we're going to go into it with Gamero. So let's go to Missions. I'm hoping that this goes quite well for Alvero because I do like him so obviously one being a legendary one being an epic so you can understand why Camiro does take over Alvero in that thing just doing a little bit of testing with Maria earlier on so that video will be coming soon so right let's get Alvero now some of the things that Alvero does have over Camaro is his ability to um Act initiative, so he can activate initiative and give himself a bit of an attack increase. So he's got that going for him. But we'll. Oh no, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Don't give it to him. Don't give it to him. Right, thank you. Didn't want to do that. Right, just get over here because I'm going to need him to do that. Nice one. Right, let's go through with Yusuf quickly. Just bash through him here. He's doing a nice little bit of dodging there. Look at him. Little dodge machine. Right, so he's down. So right, now we're going to go in with Alvero. So I'm not going to activate his ability until the last room. Boom, he's up for this. He, he, he wants to just show he's the boy. Look at that, 13k crit. So he's going to go in here now. Unfortunately, this annoys me because they don't come running over. But we'll do that to hopefully lower his defence. It didn't happen. He's, he's starting off a little bit shaky in this one. Probably have to heal him up a little bit. But obviously this is crit RNG as well. You've got to take that into consideration. The fact that, you know, if you get lucky with the crits, anything can be easy. Oh, I've never had that foul before. Both of them fouled. Well, these just come on, you see. I know Edward's in the game now, so you've got to step it up. Can't be falling down ditches and everything. All right, there we go. All right, let's get in here. So, Alvero already looks like he's running out of a bit of steam. He may need a little bit of a refreshment with Gasper's Hill, but we're going to try and save that to the last moment. So, we're going to go in here. Hopefully, we can take this enemy down with a bit of luck. With a bit of luck. Come on, Alvero. You can do it. Because if you die, I'm going to have to start this again. Look at that 28k crit. He's got a bit between his teeth now. He's like, right, that is it. I'm going to show you what's what. Right, heal him up. Let's get him healed. Right, let's activate his ability. So this gives him a little bit of an advantage going in. Obviously, having initiative for the first bit, so he takes less hits. Let's go in. Alvero, the boy, stepping up into the final room. Right, so what should I do here? Should I... Should I lower his thing first? Yeah, let me just see if this works. Lower his defences, because hopefully if I do the double swipe, yeah, this should now hopefully kill him outright. Done, he's down. Nice one, right. He's definitely going for this now. He definitely wants a bit. Oh my God, he's missed. He's bottled it. That's like one turn. Oh, he's absolutely bottled it. Right, lower his defences, because it just... Oh, look at that. He hasn't bottled it. He's found his guts. He's coming back. He's coming back. Right, he's got that in. Because the quicker he gets through this, the more healing and the longer his health pool will last. Right, so he's got him down. Now for Tordomeda. Come on, this is your last last bit. Come on, never give up. Come on. If we can lower his defences again, we've done that again. Alvero sticking in there with a massive crit. 
and Tordemeda is down. Alvero showing that Epics have got a place in the game. What a quality victory. Well done, Alvero. Now he's absolutely murdered him. And he had some very, very, very nice health left after all that. He really did sustain himself very well in there. <clears throat> so he, he done very, very well in that last room. This is a bug. I'm going to report this. Right, quick mission. Oh, I can't see a screen shake when it's just nothing on it. Uh, do my eyes in. Right, now. The champion, Gamero, coming in. It's his turn to step up now. Right, so let's swap him out for Alvero. The, the challenger has raised the bar. He has raised the bar. He has shown that he is not to be messed with. Now, Gamero obviously has a legendary weapon, so this does give him obviously a slight advantage. He does hit harder, but... He's going to be a little bit slower off the mark in some of these because obviously he doesn't get initiative. So, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be quite fun. Oh, and it's slowed all the way down. Yusuf goes and poisons himself. Don't die, buddy. I need you to get through all the things. That's it. You keep dodging and weaving, dodging and weaving. Look at this. He's, he's got it. Float like a butterfly. Even though he's not in the boxing match, he, he still wants to be part of it. He still wants to be part of it. Right, so now, Gamero's coming in. 17k crit. He's like, whatever you can do, Alvero, I can do just as good, mate. Just as good. Right, so, what we'll do is we'll slow the enemy down first. And then do this, because it should kill him out, right? He, he is a beast. He hits so hard. He really does, but... He's just so slow. That's the only issue with him. He's very, very, very slow. So they do tend to get quite a lot of attacks off before um, he can get his in. But when he does get him in, he's absolutely devastating. Absolutely devastating. Right. So we've got... He's like the little ring walker. Old Yusuf at the minute. Getting us to the main event. Coming down the zip line you go. He's going to hold up a little ball saying round two. Off we go. Right, so let's get Gamero in. So he's coming into this actually quite a bit healthier than Alvero did. But I think he's got slightly bigger health pull and things like this. Right, let's go in here. It says very hard. I mean, Gamero can slow people down. That's a nice little ability he's got. He's got a lovely little bleed on him. Don't need it though because he's literally two smacks and they're done. So right, let's increase his health. Let's heal him. Now, uh, obviously, we ain't going to get initiative here, so we will take a few more whacks. And what that happens with that is, by doing that, um, we're going to probably run out of energy, um, like the healing, a little bit slower than Alvero did. Because, obviously, if Alvero had initiative and could take someone down in one or two hits, Gamero's going to have to stay there for a little bit longer and just take a few more hits. But... Let's see what he goes in. So this one will activate his bleed. It's not the hardest hitting attack, but the bleed damage is absolutely insane. So I'm not going to get initiative here. So I'm going to take a couple of whacks, which does waste a couple of turns. But he's got a little dodge in there. He's bobbing and weaving. He's got the big old. He's made the opponent bleed. And now he's going to just swipe these out. He didn't quite finish him off, but he's dead before he even got to him. The bleed damage was just too much. Just too much for him to take. Right, so we're going to slow this feather down because we're quite slow hitting ourselves. Do that, down he goes. He's just absolutely found his second wind after his hangover. And this is with no extra training. He's absolutely not trained one little bit. He doesn't care. He's like, I'm, I, I'm not doing it. I do not care. Let's slow him down. Always oh, taking a bit of a critical hit there. But I've got the bleed off. Nice little spin. Down to quite low health now. But I'm surviving on 1 HP because I'm cheating death. Getting that second wind. Getting that second wind and he's down. He is down. So, obviously without that second wind ability, I wouldn't have done this. Um, I wouldn't have got through it with him. Uh, he just wasn't... I mean, but he hasn't had any extra training. Obviously, we can improve his defence. We can improve his health his crit chance and everything like that. So for a hero that has not even been extra trained one little bit, it is a really, really, really 
you know he's a beast. He's just done that. If anybody gets Gamero level 50, don't have to extra train him. You can clear region 5. So very good for that as Alvero does need quite a bit of extra training. I thought it was a fun little bout. Alvero did show his must and he did survive with a hell of a lot of health. I was absolutely gobsmacked with that. He'd done really, really well. But overall, through time and extra training, Gamero will be the better hero. But just remember, if you're progressing and you're new, Alvero is far easier to farm than Gamero is. So he will do a job for you if you obviously extra train him. So I hope you did enjoy the video. I know it was something a little bit different, but just drop it a thumbs up. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next video. Look after yourself, assassins.